welcome back. Now today we're going to be switching things up a bit and creating something a little bit different. The kind of vibe that I haven't done much of on the channel. A bit more upbeat, a bit more of a steady groove and that means a deep soulful house flavour. Now I'm going to be working in Logic but you'll be able to create this vibe in any door you're working in. And I'll be definitely be making the sounds and the project settings available in my soon to launch YouTube members area. So as always, if you're feeling what I'm doing and I'm bringing you value, remember to like the video, subscribe and drop me a comment and hit me up with a super thanks as well. That's going to go a long way in supporting what I'm doing here on the channel, bringing you quality content. And don't forget as well, if you're looking for one-to-one -one tuition or a consultation, you can reach out to me via Instagram or directly through my website. Anyway, it's that time. So let's get into it. Okay, diving right in. So as you can see on screen, I've got eight bars of kick and claps. Let's have a quick listen. Cool, we're working at 117 BPM. And on the claps, what I've got here is an EQ. I'm taking out any unnecessary low frequency content in these claps and rounding off the top end a bit. It was a little bit too bright, so I'm sort of taking off those very high frequencies. Now, if you want to learn more about EQ and how you can effectively use this, make sure you check the link in the description. All right. Also, one of my favorite plugins in Logic, and that's the spreader. And it really does give a lovely width to percussion parts and other instruments as well. So let's have a quick listen. So the next thing I want to add is some hats. So what we're going to do is go here and we're going to create a new drummer track. We're going to go for electronic and create. Let's open up the library over here and we're going to go with Magnus as our drummer, but I want to change out the kit and I'm going to use the deep tech kit. Have a listen. Okay. Now what we're going to do is switch these off. All I want is the hats. That's cool. I'm now going to switch up the hat pattern over here and I'm going to change the complexity of the hats as well. So let's have a listen to that. Yeah, that's nice. We're on a glow stick beat preset over here as well. And of course, one more thing I'm going to do is add some swing to these hats. So let's bring it up to 66%. That's going to give me a bit of a shuffle. So let's have a listen. Cool. There's a fill at the end of these eight bars. I don't want that. Turn that off. Final thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to right click and come down to convert, convert to MIDI region. Boom. Okay, so Logic's no longer seeing it as a drummer part. It's now running directly from the drum machine designer. Um, also remember, check out my video on how to use Logic's drummer. If you haven't seen that yet, it's a must see. All right, moving on. Let me just add a few more percussive elements and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I've added some more percussion bits as you can see here, I've got triangle, got a little bit of percussion just here and I've got this hi-hat loop at the end. I've also color coded everything. As you know, I always send my drums to a bus. So these are all going through to bus 20, which is my drum bus. So that's all the drums I'm going to be using. Real simple. Next thing I'm going to add is piano. So I'm just going to use one of Logic's stock pianos, which is the Steinway Grand. And I'm going to play a progression, something like this. Something like that. I'll put that down and then we'll move on. Okay, so now I've got my piano in. What I've done is repeated this eight bar section four times. So we've got 32 bars. And now I'm gonna add an electric piano section. But all I'm gonna do is copy Grand Piano down to, to Logic's electric piano. And what we're gonna get is 16 bars of the Grand, and then we're gonna switch to the electric piano. So let's hear the transition.
So we're going to have more attack on the first 16 and things are going to mellow out a bit on the second 16. Okay. You know, I like to color code my stuff. Option C to bring up the palette. And this time I'm going to go for yellow. Now I'm going to add a couple more elements. We'll listen to that. Then we'll finish off with the baseline. So we're back. And like I said, I've just added a few extra bits on top of what we had before. I've also added a turnaround in the grand piano section, which you'll hear in a second, as well as a simple melodic riff in there as well. And the turnaround sounds like this. Okay, and the, the melodic riff goes like this. You'll hear that once we start playing. So this is what we've got so far. So we've got our grand piano here. We've got the electric piano right here on this track. And then what I've done is I bounced on the electric piano to audio. Then I've chopped it up and reversed all of the chords, which gives you that build up sound like this. Okay. And that works really well underneath the production. Of course, we've got some strings and a pad section as well, just to kind of fill things out a bit. So the final thing I'm going to do is arrange this and then lay down a baseline. And in a follow up video, I'm going to show you how I'll mix and master this ready for release. So let me put together the arrangement and then I'll lay the bass and then we'll call it a day. Okay. So there's one final thing I want to do before we go and add the baseline and wrap this up. I uh, just got an idea for a little guitar riff and it's real simple. In fact, I'm using one of Logic's guitar presets here. So under electric guitar and bass, clean guitar, and I'm using echo studio. And this is what it sounds like. But I'm going to play the riff muted and it's just going to be a single note. And I'm just going to let the effects do the rest. So let's put this down and then we'll move on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go through and choose the best one of those four licks and then repeat that throughout the arrangement. Finally, let me go away, arrange this, and I'll be back with a baseline. Hey squad, just reminding you that if you're interested in a personalized online one-to-one -one tuition session or a consultation, just head over to my website, musictechtraining.com and complete the contact form with your details and your requirements, and I'll be happy to get right back to you. Okay, let's crack on with the video. Okay, we're here. I'm gonna lay down the baseline as we play out. So before we actually finish off, let me show you what I'm using on my bass channel. So of course I'm using electric bass and the first thing in my channel strip is Logic's bass amp designer. I've got a video on that on Logic's stock bass effects plugins. Definitely one to check out. Also, one of my favorites at the moment is the Waves CLA bass. It just adds something to your electric bass and synth basses and just adds a sweetness to the tones, which I really love. And finally, I'm using Logic's Vintage Tube EQ just to smooth things off a little bit and round off the tone. And the tone sounds a bit like this. Okay, now I'm going to do a follow up video on exactly how I'm going to mix and master this track and get it ready for release. I'll show you all of the plugins that I'll be using and all of the edits and tricks I'll be using as well. So watch this space as I'll be getting this one ready real soon. Now, as always, if you find value in what I'm doing, remember to give me a like, 
subscribe to the channel. And if you're feeling what I'm doing and you think it's worthwhile, why not hit me up with a super thanks, which will help me to grow the channel and continue to bring you great content. Anyway, just playing out. And until next time, I'm Deuce. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>